This is uh, Thomas Lyons from Raps on TV, unfortunate to be joined by two-time National Alliance champion, one of the hottest prospects in Reading Boxing, Damon O'Neill. How's everything going, Damon? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Too bad yourself? Yeah, not too bad now. Glad to come down, just get an insight into sort of how training's been going. Yeah. Um, talk to me, bro. Like, what's been going on? Like, I've seen you've been out in Mexico enjoying, yeah. the, enjoying the good life, but yeah. also training very hard. So, yeah, just talk to me about that. Yeah, so just went out to Mexico, came back a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was good, we had one fight up there, thought we were going to get some more but got there and it was just the one fight. But yeah, amazing experience, we had a good team out there, we got five wins and three losses so we did okay. Yeah. Um, the Mexican that I fought was very tough, so you know, they are as tough as... as They're notorious they. for being tough aren't they? <laughs> that's it, that's it. So yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, great experience, I'd love to do it again. And was that sort of what you wanted, that experience to fulfil, um, obviously, in the amateurs now but trying to gauge that experience and also the fact that you've gone out with the likes of Sean Murphy from Finchley yeah, yeah. a very reputable gym and also yeah, the yeah. products like Anthony Joshua have come from that gym so yeah, yeah. is that sort of what you were looking at to get that yeah. experience yeah yeah of course of course when I was selected I was thrilled you know and to, to be working with someone like Sean as well it's great you know get like ears from somewhere else it's, it's always good but you know obviously we've got our coach here as well so it's a bit different it's a bit different but yeah again just amazing experience yeah and is that sort of the experience you think will help you in good stead for when you do challenge for those elite titles at amateur level yeah. the likes of the Haringey box car yeah, yeah, yeah. those national titles is that what you're looking to pursue yeah yeah well obviously we're in the alliance now so yeah. the alliance don't actually um so we're not affiliated with england boxing okay. so we don't do things like uh, the Haringey but hopefully there will be some more competitions and things that we will be participating in yeah um obviously we've just linked up with the wbc as well so hopefully there's a lot of you know different tournaments all over the world and uh, you know it's, it's all put me in good stead for that. So. Yeah, no. And I've seen you've been good. sparring a uh, debutant Josh Adewale, yeah. signed with MTK Global. And yeah. I mean, in recent months they've gone through the roof. Yeah, Lights yeah. of Tyson Fury, Billy Joe Saunders, yeah, yeah, all so these fighters. Yeah. So how sort of pleased? I know obviously you're focusing on your career where you want to get to, but yeah. how pleased are you with Josh and the way he's progressed through the uh, the yeah. amateurs and now getting his chance on the big stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh is a very good fighter, man. He can uh, he can do it all. He can do you know he can box and he can fight. So it's good to get that experience. You know, sparring. We do spar whenever we've got fights coming up so you know it's good to have someone so local as well he's just yeah. around the corner so yeah yeah he's doing well and, and hopefully he can smash it in the pros yeah and the blueprint for Reading Boxing at the moment kind of like it's synonymous not really many fighters have come out from Reading you've obviously got the likes of a senior byfield who yeah. just challenged for the British yeah, yeah. Um, Tamuka Mooch has been a bit inactive recently yeah. not his fault but yeah, yeah. see circumstances yeah. so are you looking to be like the new fresh face of Reading Boxing to kind yeah. of propel that and take it to another another yeah. level yeah yeah of course I, I mean i used to train alongside both asinia and tamuka and yeah i'm, I'm just the next generation i, I hope to take red into to new places and, and put them on the map yeah and so. uh, talk to me about your amateur pedigree how many fights uh, so, so talk to me because that wraps on tv we like to kind of start at the grassroots kind of yeah. introduce fighters where they come from yeah. their background so tell me just how you got involved in boxing and sort of from then to now, the progression you've made personally? Yeah, sure. Um, so I started boxing when I was 15 years old. Uh, I used to play football, but I wasn't the best. So um, yeah, kind of quit at about 14 and started started boxing, came down with one of my mates. Um, since then, you know, I've been training obviously twice a day for, you know, the last six years or so. Yeah. Um, started fighting properly at 16 um, and I've had 14 fights since. So it has been busy at times, but also I've been inactive due to injury and things like that. You know what boxing is like. Yeah, of course. So, um, so yeah, but yeah, 14 fights so far, 13 wins, one loss. So we're doing okay at the minute, but yeah, yeah, looking to, to go even further. And I think that's kind of a good point you've raised there, obviously, taking that sort of uh, mentality to be able to train twice a day. I mean, it's a tough life boxing, but yeah, yeah. also the diligence, the discipline you've got to show and especially like the likes of Josh now going on to the professional ranks. Yeah, yeah. For yourself, it's also about maintaining that, keeping a balance. And yeah. you've kind of showed that recently yeah, yeah. going out to Mexico. Like it's a lot of sacrifice for a boxer of your age, of your caliber to yeah. take. So do you yeah, kind of feel yeah. you kind of took yourself out of that comfort zone and that was beneficial for you at this stage of your career? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I feel like, 
you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah. So that's why I've always trained so hard. Um, obviously, if you want to be a professional, you have to train like a professional. And that's why I aim to be in the next few years or so. Okay. Not anything soon, but in, in the future. But obviously having that ambition, that objective. Yeah. So what would you say is your aim for the next 12 to 18 months per se? Um, hopefully we can get a lot more international belts, that would be great. Um, we have the championships coming up here in either March or April, so hoping to, to win that again. Um, and yeah, just, just stay active, listen <coughs> to my coach, um, train hard and, and keep winning fights. That's yeah. the plan to be honest. And is the Olympic route something you, if you were given the opportunity, you'd go down? Yeah. See yeah. a lot of fighters yeah. now, sort of the next generation, you've got the likes of Lawrence Acoli, Anthony Fowler, yeah. um, Peter McGrail, they've all come through the amateur bouts and they're, that generation particularly, the Andy Joshua's gone for the Olympics. Is that something you want to maybe target? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I think every amateur aspires to go to the Olympics. You know, it's a, it's like the pinnacle of amateur boxing. So I'd love to go to the Olympics. You know, yeah. and um, hopefully we can get there. Yeah, talk to me about the uh, sparring, Josh Adewale. Um, good friends, you two, yeah, yeah. and obviously you've been around good company for the last sort of twelve to eighteen months. I've been seeing the sparring you've been yeah. doing, so elite sparring, you mm-hmm. per se, because Tamuk is obviously so many fights into his professional career. Josh is going to start yeah. his on November the 17th. So yeah, yeah. just talk to me about sparring, how obviously you don't want to give too much away because yeah, Josh yeah. has got his fight. Yeah, but yeah. just talk to me like how you've felt a bit sharing a ring with those guys. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I do okay against, against these guys. Obviously they're professionals and they've had a lot of amateurs themselves. So it's, it's good, but you know, I do, I love, I love sparring. I love sparring all of them. Um, I spar with the likes of Comrade Sampowski as well. Um, Edmund Dereku, yeah. who was a national champion as well. So yeah, it's just good to get the rounds in, and um, and yeah, hopefully Josh can go on to do some some good things. On and are you a big fan of boxing yourself? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, do you want to maybe talk to me about the weekend's fight? Obviously, Usyk just yeah. showing levels and pedigree. Yeah, um, Bell, you putting up a great fight, but I think as well the fact that no one really expected Bell to do so well. What was your take on um, Usyk's performance? Yeah, yeah, I think Usyk did very well. Um, Obviously, we all wanted Bell you to win. We're all Brits, so we wanted, we wanted <laughs> Bell you to win. But yeah, I think Usyk was just a level above. Um, he's a good southpaw, um, slippery, and he's just. I think his mind, his boxing brain, is just ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Obviously, Bell you started gassing a bit, in, like maybe the fifth, and Usyk just just took it from there. To be honest. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was a fair play to Bell. You know, not everyone has to take that fight. Yeah. You know, it was for all the belts. So. Yeah, why not? Yeah, 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 everyone will go <laughs> for it. So. Yeah, of course. But anyway, talk to me about your uh, your style and sort of don't mean to put you on the spot, but like any particular fighters you think you reminisce in terms of your your style or what yeah. who you kind of look up to when you've yeah. been introduced to boxing. Any particular yeah. fighters from any generation? Okay, so um, yeah, I've, I've had a look at a lot of fighters. Obviously, I'm a southpaw myself, um, so. Once I, I came in the gym and uh, my coach told me to look at uh, Pernell Whitaker. Yeah. So from there, I've kind of tried to emulate that style a bit. But I take parts from everyone, so a bit of everything really. Um, I'm quite powerful myself, got a bit of speed, so I try to mix it up. Yeah. Try to mix it up, about a, a bit of back foot fighting, but I'm also learning to come on the front foot now and have a bit of a fight as well. Yeah, and what uh, weight category are you at the moment, sort of what are you looking to compete at when you do hit that elite, elite okay. level? So, um, yeah, I'm middleweight at the minute uh, as an amateur, but when you go into the pros, the middleweight is, is a different um, kind of category, so you have to go a bit lower, but I would love to make that weight. So, um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see, you know, with the right nutritionist and things like that. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be able to, to hit middleweight at the pro ranks as well. So a big fan of Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What do you, um, so what's your take on um, the whole sort of uh, drug thing with the Massachusetts uh, Commission? Obviously, was yeah. going to defend his title against Andrade. Yeah. He ended up fighting the 17th in the world Namibian, yeah. got through that, but still t- 12 tough rounds and the uh, yeah. Namibian guy put up a, gr- a great fight. Yeah, yeah, but were you a bit sort of, um, not dis- as a fan, were you disappointed that Saunders yeah. never got the, the chance yeah. to show? Yeah, of course, because we all, we all wanted Saunders to, to at least prove himself and, and take another good fight, because obviously he just fought Lemu and he outboxed him there. So I, I think he was going to do that with Andrade as well. Yeah. Um, fortunately, we didn't get to see it, so. It is a bit of a shame, but I think you know they should they should be able to sort out a rematch or something, or not a rematch, but obviously try and get the fight for Billy Joe. Obviously, 
if um, if they can make it happen. But yeah. it would be something that I'd love to watch. And uh, just a few fights I'd like to sort of get your opinion on. Yeah. Um, you've got Jason Wellborn on the British scene at middleweight. You've yeah. got Jason Wellborn taking on Jarrett Hurd at yeah. 154. Yeah. Um, do you see that as a, a, mi a bit of a mismatch? Or do you think that Wellborn d is sort of deserved of that shot after uh, defending the British? I think it is a big leap, obviously, from the British to, to the world. But um, go for it, you know what I mean? If, if presented with the opportunity, why not? Why not? But um, yeah, obviously, Jarrett Hurd is a serious fighter. Um, he's a, isn't he the unified champion? As yeah, well, unified so. at one fifty four. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a tough fight, but good luck to him. Hopefully, he can he can go and do it for the Brits. Yeah, and a few sort of topics that have come up in the uh, the boxing agenda recently got the whole sort of situation with drug uh, misuse and oh, yeah. sort of performance enhancing drugs. Yeah. As an athlete yourself, what's yeah. your sort of take? I can imagine that. But particularly with boxing people, it's a very hostile attitude to yeah. people that are taking drugs. Yeah. So you've seen um, Canelo's been in recent uh, months uh, popped for clenbuterol. Yeah. Um, what's your take on uh, this drug stance that boxing kind of has at the moment? Yeah, I feel like it's not, do you know what I mean? Boxing's no place for it. Um, at the end of the day, you're getting in there and you're risking your life. Yeah. So you shouldn't be on drugs. If you are on drugs, create a separate kind of category where they're all on drugs, yeah. do you know what I mean? If they want to fight with each other, that's fine, but I don't think you should be able to, to take drugs and still compete with, you know, the clean athletes. Yeah. I don't think it's fair, to and, be honest. And I suppose, especially when you've kind of had, you know, it's, it's, it's not a regular occurrence in boxing, but you've had cases, the likes of Nick Blackwell, um, you know, there's numerous fighters that have sort of passed away because of boxing. Yeah. And sort of then to have fighters that have that substance in them that's gives them I mean. an added advantage, doesn't it? So yeah. is that kind of a bit... Um, immoral to say in boxing terms definitely definitely I don't think it's fair at all and I think people need to consider you know the risks that we take in boxing and just, just it's just not fair really so yeah we need to kick it out of the sport and I think they need to take more measures to, to try and you know prevent it and, and things like that yeah and just finally as an amateur boxer I'm sure you're looking out for sponsors yeah, yeah uh, any sort of you know additional training uh, methods yeah, yeah. any particular shout outs you want to give to any of your trainers your nutritionists yeah. Sponsors, yeah. anyone? Sure, sure. So obviously I'd like to thank my team, my coach, Adrian Riley, taught me everything I know. You know, I couldn't throw a punch before I came in the gym, so shout out to him. And yeah, everyone supporting me. You know, once I, I went out to Mexico and um, I was getting loads of messages from everyone. I feel like what the whole of Redden behind me. So yeah, just shout out to you guys and keep supporting. Yeah, and you want to shout out your social media uh, tags to the Reps on TV fans so they can tune in? Yeah, sure. So on, on Instagram, it's Damon O'Neill one um, and yeah, um, you can get at me for sponsors at damon o nineteen ninety seven at gmail dot com. Yeah, and uh, sort of a prediction for Josh's uh, pro debut. Are you going to be going down to watch it? It's at Brentwood Centre. Yeah, yeah. Um, MTK massive show there. So yeah, yeah. So what of a message? What final message? I know you've got uh, one last, I believe, one last spar with Josh. Yeah, yeah. Before his fight. So what? Yeah. Any last message support for? Yeah, Josh. yeah, so just good luck. Good luck, mate. I'm sure you'll uh, get the win. Uh, hopefully, I can be there myself, but yeah, I'm sure you'll get the win. Hopefully, you can get a stoppage or something like that. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Uh, just finally chasing titles this year. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. It's strap season, of course. Strap season. <laughs> Thomas Lyons, Raps on TV. Damon O'Neill, it's been a pleasure today, mate. And uh, I wish you all the best for the future. Ah, Top cheers, man. Mate.